The Duke of Cambridge recently set pulses racing when he shared an image of himself receiving the COVID-19 vaccine into his upper arm. Royal watchers were delighted to see the muscles of the second in line to the throne, especially as William rarely wears short-sleeved shirts. But William's role as a heartthrob started years ago, when Charles took both of his sons on a royal tour of Canada in 1998. In the documentary, Prince William at 30, the narrator pointed out that the young royal not only had to represent the firm, but also had to greet his legions of excited teenage fans. The narrator explained, William had to fulfill yet another role, that of a royal pin-up. The Duke of Cambridge has often been compared to his mother Princess Diana, who was known for her beauty. The BBC's former royal correspondent Jenny Bond also told the documentary, My goodness me, William turned out to be very handsome indeed, tall, handsome, a prince. The most eligible young man around and the world went mad. Harry, then 13, would reportedly nudge his brother and encourage him to wave to the crowds during their tour, and, according to Ms. Bond, there would be, screams all around, in response. Fans from the time excitedly told the press that they loved the royal, and were amazed at how William shook our hands. TV presenter Philip Schofield also told the documentary that William's popularity would have worked out well for the firm, claiming, the royal family must be thinking, this is unbelievable. But, as the Times royal correspondent Roya Nikar pointed out, thousands of screaming young girls turned out for him, he looked very embarrassed and awkward. Whenever he's been asked about it since, he really seems to laugh off or shirk off that image of him as a pin-up. Even his future wife, Kate Middleton, was at one time reported to have had a poster of the young royal on her bedroom wall growing up. However, Kate dismantled this claim in their 2010 engagement interview, when journalist Tom Bradby asked if this was true, and William joked there were about 20 pictures of him on her walls. Kate replied, he wishes. No, I had the Levi's guy on my wall, not a picture of William, sorry. William joked, it was me and Levi's, honestly. Wilmania could be said to have peaked when the royal was looking to go to university, in 2001, the year he met Kate. His university of choice St Andrews saw the biggest increase in application for degree courses among UK universities that year. Figures from the universities and colleges admissions service found that applications had increased by 44% in a staggering move dubbed the Prince William effect. But, despite his growing reputation as a heartthrob, William was still flustered during his first introduction to Kate, according to reports.